the day after and had a big Chinese for one day or since yesterday afternoon and it's uh, yeah it's easy to say that it's a very beautiful car I really like it the design of this car is uh, very manly it's uh, tough it's uh, all people who are know just a little about cars see that uh, this has something to do with Rolls Royce and it's it's not the car or maybe not the quality we don't know but it's the design was inspired by Rolls Royce because of the designer who had designed it is uh, formerly have been working for Rolls Royce so you can see it in the front yeah, it's very nice <laughs> I seriously like that design uh, otherwise the inside and I've been sitting in the third row seat uh, five and six in this uh, Hunchang it's a very luxurious car even back here you have controller for temperature you have reading lights you have ESP on both sides Air vents. Just like we are sitting now with very good space for a second row. It starts to be a very small space. For me I can't I just can't sit here. But if I have been taking the other seat a little forward, then I will be able to sit back here. So that would be nice. See this being put on the right. Big glass window, sunroof. And this car is uh, speakers in the back, many small speakers. One here, one that, three in the front, plus speakers in the doors. Yeah, all kinds of things. So it's a uh, it's a very beautiful car it's a luxury car electric luxury car made in china for a chinese market was start to get money and can make more luxury cars for himself you can think about china as a poor country with nothing they have a lot of lot of people and they also make a lot of nice cars and they also buy a lot of European and American cars and most of them are big so it's kind of completely opposite what uh, a lot of us are thinking let's see, try to get forward here again forward to second row and here even if I haven't put the, the seat and max back even now have space for my feet nice seats armrests controllers for the windows on both sides both my side and the other big pocket Vents, climate control or set temperatures. Down here you have USB 12 voltage, 220 voltage up to 150 watts. You see here the stitching on the seat, the details. Everything is very, very nice. Opening control for air, light up. The stitching here again is. Yeah, it's just 
a very nice place to sit. that a lot of uh, electric cars come more or less uh, very, very little design because they put on a lot of big screens inside <laughs> this car is is really filled up with design it's very very nice I was thinking maybe this could be a little boring color but for this car no it's <laughs> It's beautiful. It's just just very beautiful. This is a man's car. Big and tough. That you can say. Big and tough. And for those who don't haven't understand it already, the designer behind this car. I used to work for Rolls-Royce. It's true. He actually did. And you see it. Cameras in front, cameras in back, cameras inside. Three screens on the top, one the center and they are soft close but that was too hard and the design of this beautiful stitching USBs all those and this old classical boat design very manly controller really designed everything stitching this diamond things here the stitching again loud speakers here in metallic, here you have the same style just in plastic. This one is a real metal, most of the others is plastic with the chrome, but okay. This one is feel, it's cold. And here these things I know from my old Lexuses. I have some, <laughs> more than one Lexus LS 400. They have the same when you sit in. Also my Toyota Soar it has the same. You sit in, put in the key there. It's set up the seat, set up the steering wheel, and headrest. Yeah, everything gets set up right away. This one have uh, some of these things. Not everything. Headrest and things are not. Seat belt adjustment in height is not here, but it's very, very nice. I don't like too many big screens trying to be just big screens, but here they have managed to because of the black and the chrome around everything here, they managed to make them look like it's not just put up big screens just to be big screens actually is designed into it so that makes it much much nicer and I really really like it really like it this is a perfect luxury car for a Norwegian market Get them with four wheel drive. Yeah, it's big. We have 
I have two boys playing basketball. They have a lawn. They need space. Here, it's space. It's no problem. Big glass roof. Someone is really, really liking that. I want it for me. Would have been just as nice with just an ordinary roof. Maybe lighter and everything, but it's like that. I have to see more about this green in the darkness because now it's so light that I can't show it very well on the video. Let's see. Here we can set up sport, all road, echo, that find it yourself, off road, all road. Can guarantee you have a lot of setups. Yeah. Pressure on the tires, acceleration, error message. Engine uh, use consumption. Yeah, it's a lot of things. So I was driving it uh, with the comfort setting. Now I'm going to get uh, back and pick up the boys from uh, training basket. And then I'm going to try it a little different. I'm going to drive some more trips tonight. And tomorrow morning I go in very early to town and try to do something there. So we see. I come back uh, with more. This is just a walk through how the car is looking and my first expression of what I feel about it. So let's see you tomorrow.
Uh, otherwise, the inside the car, I don't like a lot of big uh, LCD screens, but on this one uh, it was so nicely done that I can live with it. It's no problem. It's okay. Everything around is designed, so it's uh, it's livable. Not uh, like in some other cars that I I wouldn't have been able to live in them. And here, it's nice. Is it more than enough horsepower? I'm going to put some technical information under the video because I don't go and think about them all the time. For me, a car is for driving. If it's electric or gasoline or diesel, doesn't care. It just have to drive, do what it's supposed to. And this car has enough um, battery to do what it's supposed to. It's a more than enough horsepower. To do what it's supposed to so it's no problem so for me i need space in the car and i need to be able to get from a to b in, in comfort and like it and then i have to like the design in both outside and inside on this one this one is uh, no problem this is really nice <laughs> so no, I'm uh, sorry to say I had to go and deliver the car back to the place I borrowed it. And uh, yeah, it's like that. If I win more in lotto, lotteries, I could buy some more cars like this. <laughs> so, thank you for coming by and seeing this uh, video. Please uh, put a like on the video, please subscribe to the channel and put uh, comments on what you think about this car, what you think about electric cars and uh, what you think about the channel that would be nice so thank you please come back